Hi, this is Tony Moore, and you're watching Elements of Jazz TV. Elements of Jazz, your visual jazz experience. Bagatini is a is a great restaurant and jazz club. I mean, it's a great venue for jazz, and and um, we need more places like that. We need places like that. We need people to come out and support it because um, there's never enough places for musicians to play. I grew up in Chicago, Chicago, Illinois, uh, on the south side of Chicago. Although I was born in Memphis, Tennessee, and a lot of people ask me about that. Um, because for some reason they think I was born in Nashville. I went to school in Nashville, but I was actually born in Memphis, Tennessee, and we moved to Chicago when I was about three years old with my father and mother because there were more jobs in Chicago than Memphis. So I was raised in Chicago on the south side. I was given the gift of music through my mother. My mother played piano and she taught piano. She played in church, ministered music, and so she was on the piano day and night. I started on piano first. So that's how I started, um, playing piano, and I took lessons at a very young age, starting at about maybe three. And, but as they tell me, I was banging on drums and banging on stuff, not drums, but banging on pans um, around the house and banging on different stuff. And so I eventually later switched to drums, but I always still played piano. And uh, that's how I got started on drums. <laughs> to high school, I um, started playing in the marching band, I was in the concert band, I was in the jazz band. Um, on Saturdays I used to play in the drum corps, a little drum corps called the Chicago Connection Drum Corps, Drum and Bugle Corps. So I went to Chicago Vocational School and we had a great band director there named Harold Bray and he taught you know the whole band and, and he was one of the best band directors in Chicago. You know, it was very disciplined. He cracked the whip, so we were one of the most disciplined bands in uh, Chicago, and um, it was great. I mean, you know, he, he taught me a lot. 
And it was the first R&B band that I joined called The Best of Friends. And they were a popular R&B band, funk band in Chicago. So that's where I learned a lot um, how to play, how to play music, how to, how to learn songs, how to hit the drums, how to get my sound together on the drums. They were a great group of guys and, and they taught me a lot. With all these different groups that I was in, that's all I had time for was music, you know, Saturdays, drum corps, all, all city jazz band during the day on Saturdays. Um, it was just music. <laughs> I got into jazz once I got into high school after that. And Harold Bray, he was the main reason. He kind of embarrassed me <laughs> in band one day. He was like, you need to learn how to play jazz. And I was like, uh, uh, you know, in front of the whole band. And, and that made me get into playing jazz because I was just into R&B and funk music and, and the popular music of the day. I, mean, I did later on meet jazz musicians like Art Porter, who at the time in Chicago was doing Straight Ahead. He was doing traditional music before he switched over to do contemporary jazz, and he's, he's a phenomenal player. Uh, you know about my relationship with Jeff Lorber, so he's, he's been the person that's been so influential and been um, such a catalyst, you know, for my career. So working with him has been just amazing. He's just such an incredible musician and incredible producer, and I've learned so much from him. And I've talked with him, and he's going to help me with uh, my own project, and um, and I'm very excited about that. Another Jeff Lorber song called One Survive, and it's from his latest CD, Galaxy. How many of you guys have Jeff Lorber's latest CD? Raise your hand. You got Galaxy? <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
project of my friends, you know, Tony Moore and friends. And I want to have um, just different artists that I've worked with, maybe Gerald Albright, who I've had a long relationship with. And, um, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot, a lot of people I'd like to have. So hopefully when I call them, they'll answer. I'm doing the Idlewild Jazz Festival, which is August 26th, and that's on a Sunday. And uh, it's the first time uh, doing a major festival with my own band, so I'm very excited about that. I'm uh, stepping out and trying to do more on my own, which, which I have done over the years, but I just haven't done a lot of it. I've always done gigs here and there, but I never really focused on it because I was always focused on working with the different artists and you know, supporting in a support role. So it's, um, it's a little scary stepping out on my own, but but I think I think I'm up to it. Uh, my website is TonyMoreDrums.com. www.TonyMoreDrums. T O N Y M O O R E D R U M S. dot com. Uh, Facebook is basically the same thing. Facebook.com slash TonyMoreDrums. I'm always um, appreciative of people that come out to my shows and and. Um, you know, I enjoy coming out and speaking to them. You know, sometimes it takes me a minute because I have to deal with some of my equipment and I have to get that secure and it takes me a second to get out to the audience, but I always love to go hang out. <laughs> I'm very blessed to have a lot of people in my corner and a lot of people that, that help me and support me and um, very blessed to be able to do this for a living and make a living making music, traveling, um, experiencing different cultures, traveling different countries. I'm very blessed by that. So thank you. Um, thank you to Elements of Jazz TV as well. Thank you to uh, Chad Sexton, Linda and Mac and Chad for letting me do this interview here at Chad Sexton's Drum Shop. This is an amazing drum shop, and I've been coming here for years, and they've always been totally supportive. Um, they have a lot of great equipment. You can, anything you need, you can find here, and they're great people. I mean, they will treat you like kings and queens. I'd like to send a special thank you um, from the bottom of my heart to all my fans and supporters and friends out there uh, for coming to shows, uh, coming to shows that I'm performing at, coming to my gigs. Definitely come up and say hi.